guys, it's Bree with Arco Iris Ranch, and today I have quite a few things that I want to get checked off my to-do list. So let me go ahead and turn you around and show you what I have inside my rolly cart. I have a whole cart full of things here. So these are the Shasta Daisies that I got the other day. This is the Candy Tuft. This is the Cape Daisy. These are the Butterfly Pincushion Flowers right here in the front. And then we also have our three stalks right there. So that's what I'm gonna get started with first is get all those planted. Now, right here, I have a butterfly bush. It is a nano blue butterfly bush. I had it planted in a different planter and it was not thriving and it was not getting full sun. So I went ahead and pulled it out and I'm gonna move that. And then over here, I have two bougainvilleas which also were not thriving and not doing good and I wasn't getting any flowers. I was actually pretty surprised at the roots on these when I pulled these out. But I read if they're not getting enough sun, then they'll just grow all those thorns and you won't get any of the pretty flowers. So as you can see, got the thorns and I had a few leaves on it, but I didn't get any of those beautiful pink flowers. So I'm gonna move those and see if I can get those to do better. And then I also have a Myers lemon tree. And I've had it over there in a pot. I've been bringing it inside the shed every time it's gonna get cold. But what I'm gonna do is actually get it planted into this big pot right here. I actually found that while I was thrifting. It was only like $5. It's really, really pretty. So I'm actually going to plant that and then attempt to grow it inside. So we'll see how that goes. I also picked up another flat of the Chandler strawberries. My other ones were doing pretty good uh, up until the other day when I didn't water them. They are looking a little sad, but I'm gonna get those planted. And then this is a bag of caladiums that I got a, a long time ago. And I'm gonna go ahead and get these planted. And I'm gonna get these planted in a spot that gets a bunch of shade. And then last but not least, I have two boxes of these liatris that my sister and I got and each box has 10 bulbs in there and I would love to go ahead and get those planted as well. So I know that is a lot to do but I'm going to try to get as much done as I can and I figured I'd go ahead and bring you all along with me while I do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is figure out where in these four beds I want to get all the flowers that I got from Lowe's. So I'm going to go ahead and take a minute and figure out where I want to put all these and then I'll show you. So I have everything lined up where I want to plant it. I know it's kind of hard to see right now, but let me go ahead and get everything planted and then I'll show you closer up each bed.
got everything that I wanted planted in this area, all planted, all watered in and ready to go. Let me go ahead and turn you around and show you where I put everything. So we'll start over here in this first bed. I planted two things. Right here is the bougainvillea. And then over next to it is the Shasta Daisy. And then moving on to the second bed here, I planted the Cape Daisy right there. And then I did a trio of the pincushion flowers. And then moving on to the third bed, I planted two things in this one. I planted the candy tuft right there. And then I planted one of the stalks. To be honest, I don't think the stalks are gonna make it, but we'll see. And then over in this fourth bed over here, I planted the other two stalks. That one, definitely, I don't think is gonna make it. That one does have a fighting chance. And then right here next to it is where I planted the nano blue butterfly bush. This stick right here, I found where my peonies was. I accidentally broke the top of it or the tip of it off. I'm really, really hoping that comes back. And then right over here, I have the other bougainvillea right there. So my plan for the bougainvillea on this end and then down on that end over there is to eventually have them growing up on the fence. I think that would be so, so pretty. But I'm just hoping that with moving them over here and letting them get full sun, that maybe I'll get some of those beautiful pink flowers again. So now we're gonna move over to a different flower bed and then I'll show you what we're gonna put over there. So now we're going to the flower bed on the front of the house here. I planted these three things earlier. These are columbine flowers and they are absolutely beautiful. And I had a bougainvillea in that corner and then the other bougainvillea was in that corner. So I took those out. That is a salvia and then I also have a salvia down there. That was a little bit harder to see, but it's right there. And then I had the butterfly bush here in the front in the middle. So now what I'm getting ready to plant, they're called Pink Beauty Caladiums. There's no picture, so I'll put a picture on the screen. And then I also had a caladium that I had inside in a pot that to be honest, never really did good. So I went ahead and dug those bulbs out and I'm gonna go ahead and plant these in this bed as well. I know these do not look very pretty at all whatsoever, but these will be beautiful when they start growing. So these are the ones that I had bought last year that you can see little growth points coming out of them. These were the ones that were inside that they still feel hard, so I'm hoping they'll do okay out here. You can see there's a growth point right there. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna plant some of them in this corner over here and then some of them in this corner over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna divide them up evenly and set them in each corner. So I know they're kind of hard to see down there and I did put them pretty close together. Now I'm just gonna cover them up. And then these ones are even harder to see. But you can see there's one there, 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 and there. Get those all covered up. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get these all watered in, but first I wanna tell you what my plan is with this bed. So as you can see, we have the three columbines lined up in the middle, and then in between those on the back row, we have two salvias, and then we just planted the caladiums in each of the front corners. I plan on putting coleus in the back two corners, and then I actually wanna get some bright chartreuse sweet potato vine and plant those all in the front and have it trailing over the front. So once the stores start getting coleus and sweet potato vines, I'll get those in there and get those planted and I'll show you what those look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these watered in real quick. The sun is getting ready to go down, so I am about to lose my sunlight. So I am trying to hurry and get my last thing done on the list. I'm not gonna be able to plant the liatris today, but that's okay, but I am gonna get these strawberries planted real quick. So these are where my other strawberries are, and I had two layers that didn't have any strawberries in them, so I picked up another pack, and I'm gonna get them planted in that top one, and then this top one right there. As you can see, these already have a pretty good root system established.
strawberries are planted. Now I can check that off my list. I almost forgot that I wanted to try to get that lemon plant transplanted into this pot. So here's the liatris bulbs. Not gonna be able to get those planted today, but I definitely wanna try to get this lemon tree planted. So I'm just gonna see, I'm gonna move my water so I don't get a bunch of soil in my water. And then I'm going to use one of these pots and take a good amount of the soil out. That way I'm gonna have room for this lemon tree root ball here. So I have a bunch of mulch and stuff on the top that I want to keep. I guess I'll dump that to the side real quick. I definitely want that to go back on it. Okay, so let's get this out. Got some pretty nice roots down there. So this is kind of an experiment. I know that people keep lemon trees in containers. Now I don't know if they're this small, but it was only $10 and I just want to see if I can grow anything inside my house. So make sure it's all tucked down around the root ball. making a mess but at least I brought this outside and I'm not doing it inside my house which was originally where I was going to do it I got that I think that's all good around there get this mulch back on the top Not much, but it's a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. Gave it a bunch of water. So I will keep y'all updated with this experiment and I'll let you know if it grows. But basically what happened was I had it outside, it had leaves on it, it was doing really, really good. And then we were gonna have some bad weather, so I brought it inside the shed and I left it in there for a few days. Then I brought it straight out back into the sun, left it out there, and then it was really, really windy and it zapped the leaves, blew all the leaves off. And now I'm just stuck with just these sticks here, but they're green still. Um, I know one of the tips has some brown on it. Ideally, I would have had it inside a greenhouse all winter long or brought it inside my house, but neither of those things happened. So fingers crossed, I can get it to start growing leaves again. But like I said, I'll definitely keep y'all updated on this experiment. Got the cart almost completely empty except for the liatris. And I forgot I had the fertilizer in there. So I ended up not fertilizing any of the plants that I just planted. But I know we're gonna have some rain on Sunday. So what I was thinking about doing is Saturday coming out and putting the fertilizer on everything basically. And then letting mother nature water it all in for me. So now what I'm doing is taking all my pots and putting them in my nice, neat garden shed. All up there. So I am pretty happy with what all I just got done. Yes, I wish I had gotten the liatris planted, but that's okay. It's just 20 bulbs that I didn't get planted and then I really gotta figure out where I wanna put those anyways. I think there's another planter on the other side of my house that I wanna get those in. I had a lot of fun, got it all done before the sun went down. I'm gonna go ahead and go inside and get dinner going. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me. We'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.